So, okay, we will discuss about portal method. So, portal method is a is an approximate analysis for calculating shear forces and moments developed in beams and columns of a frame or structure due to lateral loads. The applied lateral loads typically include the wind loads and the earthquake loads, which must be taken into consideration while designing buildings. So we have here a, a two-story building, which is there is a lateral load acting perpendicular to the wall, which is 4.60 kn, and at the sec at the first story is the 9.26 kn. So we already taken from the load analysis the 1.235 kPa, which is the pressure, and then we multiplied it at the tributary area of the second story, which is 2.5 meters by 1.5 meters and the another one is the 1.235 by 2.5 meters by 3 meters so that is the tributary area of the first story so the wind loads or the lateral loads is acting at the point of the intersection or the joint of a building so we have here a so we have here a the first layer or at the second layer so we divide the the we divide it into halves and we called it section a so as a condition of the portal method so the, the assumption is for each story of the frame, the interior columns will take twice as much shear force as the exterior columns. So it means that S2 is equals to 2S1. So we will um, find S1 and S2. So we have an equation of S2 is equals to 2S1 and then our second equation is 4.63 equals to 2S1 plus 4S2. And then we will substitute S2 which is equals to 2S1 and then we get the value of S1 and S2. So S1 is equals to 0 0.463 and S2 is equals to 0 0.926. And then for the second solution we have here, we already considered the two lateral loads, which is the 4.63 and the 9.26. So we already um, cut in halves the first story. So we represented S3 and also the interior columns, which is equal to S4. So we called it a section B. Well, so S4 is equals to 2S3. That is our first equation. The second equation is 4.83 plus 9.26 equals to 2S3 plus 4S4. And then we substitute the... S4 equals to 2S3. And then we get the value of S3 and S4. That is actually S3 and S4. It's not S2 and S, S3 and S, S1 and S2. And then we will put it into the frames. So that is our frame. You can check it. So 4.6, then at the middle is 0 0.926. And at the bottom, we have 1.39. And at the middle is 2.78. Then we have our summary here.